hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's topic i will be telling you the different colors the textures of the different types of vagina discharge and what they signifies so if this is your first time watching me my name is nay yvonne so stay tuned and please don't forget to like subscribe and also share this video welcome back everyone like i already discussed we'll be talking about the different colors texture the quantity and the smell of the different types of vagina discharge so but before i proceed into this let's first of all understand what a normal good vagina discharge is going to look like and for us to be able to determine this we are going to classify it under four headings the first will be the color of the vagina discharge so the the normal kind of vagina discharge the color is usually clear at times it's white at times it's off white so if you have a kind of vagina discharge that you're producing it's greenish yellow which may be gray brownish or reddish meaning that is an abnormal type of vagina discharge and i'm going to be explaining what these different colors they signifies and what you can do with them so the next now will be the order of your vagina discharge normally the vagina discharge it might not have an order but if it wants to have an order the order should not be strong and the next thing is that this order should not be offensive and unpleasant so if your vagina discharge is kind of smelling maybe fishy foul like kind of smell or having a very strong and offensive smell definitely there is something wrong maybe you are being infected with a bacteria infection so those are the things so a normal vagina discharge the order should not be that strong and not that offensive and not unpleasant so the next characteristics is the quantity for some people they are going to produce a larger quantity of vagina discharge depending on the condition or the the state at which they are and then for some set of other individuals the quantity of vagina discharge they are producing might be very small so the quantity is going to vary depending if you're on your ovulation period if you're pregnant if you're taking contraceptive pills if you're in monopause if you're breastfeeding so those are the things that are going to help you know a very good vagina discharge so if you see the texture of your vagina discharge the color the smell and the quantity it's abnormal definitely that's how you can differentiate it from a good or a bad vagina discharge so the first color of vagina discharge i'll be talking about is the yellowish to greenish vagina discharge so if you look at your pant or maybe your pad liner or whatsoever you are using or maybe you, you you go to the washroom and use a tissue to clean and you start seeing a yellowish or greenish vagina discharge on it definitely you should know you are infected with a bacteria known as trichomonas vaginal with this one when you are infected with this bacteria it's going to cause your texture of your vagina discharge and the color to be looking yellowish and greenish in color so you are going to be producing this kind of a vagina discharge so if you start seeing this kind of a vagina discharge the first thing that should come into your mind is this bacteria known as trichomonas vaginalis is the one that causes this kind of vagina discharge color and usually this it's a sexually transmitted infection so you can easily have this bacteria maybe through sexual intercourse with an infected person or if you are infected with this bacteria you can equally share it with someone through sex and most of the times this infection is usually symptomatic at times it's not symptomatic so in the case where it's asymptomatic you might not know you are infected with this infection that's why you can it's very easy for the infection to be transmitted from one person to another through sexual intercourse because some people they are not even aware that they are infected with this bacteria so but in the case where it's symptomatic you will be having this kind of burning itchy sensation and maybe swelling in your vulva area so when you start experiencing this you need to go to the hospital and consult if you are infected with this trichomonas vaginalis you can equally treat the infection using Using antibiotics and you have to take the antibiotics for a period of one week and during that period also you have to stay away from sex and make sure your sexual partners also they take it the ones that you have had contact with within the past four weeks should equally take
take this medication and definitely it's going to be treated once you follow your medication very well another infection that might cause this yellow or greenish vagina discharge is gonorrhea and chlamydia so with this it might also be symptomatic and at times is asymptomatic in the case where it's symptomatic you have itchy burning sensation in your vagina area and this can also be treated using antibiotics so if you are infected with gonorrhea or chlamydia you need to treat it very fast because if not treated it might lead to pelvic inflammatory disease which will be more severe at that stage the next kind of vagina discharge is the pink or reddish vagina discharge and with this kind of vagina discharge it could be as a result of the fact that you are almost about to see your period or maybe when it's at the end of your menstrual period that's when you will be seeing this kind of vagina discharge at the beginning of your menstrual period you will, the kind of vagina discharge you'll be producing will be reddish when your menstrual flow is almost finished also the kind of vagina discharge will also be reddish as a result of your menstrual flow another kind of situation abnormal situation that might make you produce a reddish kind of vagina discharge is if you are pregnant that is implantation bleeding can lead to reddish vagina discharge if you have um, bleeding after menopause it will also lead you to reddish vagina discharge which can be as a result of the fact that you have endometrial cancer another type are for people who have bleeding within their menstrual cycle or spotting within their menstrual cycle these are the reasons that might cause you to be producing a pinkish or reddish vagina discharge the next kind of vagina discharge is the gray to greenish vagina discharge this vagina discharge is being caused as a result of the fact that the healthy bacteria living in your vagina have grown out of proportion you know in your vagina there are healthy bacteria and yeast cells which are normal resident of the vagina so together they live at a stable rate the healthy bacteria will help maintain the yeast the yeast will help maintain the healthy bacteria so none of them grow out of proportion so if something happens that will affect that normal balance in which they are living it's going to cause one of these healthy bacteria to grow very fast reproducing very fast and intent changing the balance of the vagina so when this happens you are going to have what is known as bacteria vaginosis so with this is not a sexually transmitted infection but it's mostly associated with people who are sexually active why is it so because during sexual intercourse you they produce semen the foul play and for people who practice oral sex during that time they transfer bacteria that are in their mouth to their vagina so these bacteria are normal resident of the mouth in the mouth they don't cause any infection but when you transfer them to the vagina they start to reproduce they start to grow very fast causing what is known as bacterial vaginosis so with this kind of bacterial infection you are going to be producing a gray to greenish vagina discharge and this kind of vagina discharge is usually associated with a fishy to foul smell which is very strong and offensive even at times when you go to the washroom and you take a shower or maybe you try to wash your vulva or your vagina area the smell becomes more intense after doing that so it's usually very strong but a good part is that it can be treated you can treat it by using antibiotics so after you take your antibiotics and you follow the correct prescription it's going to get finished so if you are someone that your vagina discharge has usually been normal and of a sudden you start producing this gray to greenish vagina discharge with a strong foul or fishy kind of smell you know when a fish wants to smell right you'll be having but this kind of strong kind of smell just know you are infected with bacterial vaginosis the next kind of vagina discharge i'll be talking about is the cream to white vagina discharge so with this kind of a vagina discharge it's usually caused by yeast infection this yeast like i said already they are normal resident of the vagina so they are being kept at the normal range by the healthy bacteria the healthy bacteria will live together with them and together they will balance them so that they will not grow too much so in case for someone who is taking antibiotics or maybe the person have an underlying medical condition or a kind of illness that is um, reducing the strength of their immune system 
what happens is that it's going to kill these healthy bacteria in your vagina and when these healthy bacteria are being killed it gives now the, the advantage for the yeast to grow and when they start growing they will grow very fast because nothing is keeping them low again so they are going to grow very fast multiplying very fast and they are going to grow out of balance and when this happens now that is when you will have vagina yeast infection which is also known as thrush some people call it candidiasis so when you are infected with thrush you will start having this kind of burning irritation in your vagina at times also your vagina area with your vulva area you'll be having these tears or cuts there now when you go to urinate it becomes painful as soon as pee touches the cracks and the tears you will have this burning sensation and also during sexual intercourse when a penis is about to penetrate the vagina you will also be feeling a lot of pain because of these tiny cracks or, or tears that are surrounding your vagina vagina and your vulva area since as the tissue is very delicate and also the kind of vagina discharge you will be producing will be very thick clumpy looking like cottage cheese so if you start having your vagina discharge and it's looking like creamy whitish thick clumpy and then resembling the texture of cottage cheese definitely know that you are infected with yeast infection which is known as vagina candidiasis so another name for it is thrush like i earlier said so with this kind of infection you can treat it with antifungi medication and one thing about this um, vagina yeast infection is that it's not a sexually transmitted disease it's being caused by those normal yeast that are living in your vagina when something happens giving them the advantage for them to grow very fast and out of control that is when you will develop this vagina yeast infection and also when you have it it might change the consistent of your vagina discharge making it to be creamy whitish thick clumpy and resembling a cottage cheese if you don't know cottage cheese it's almost looking like cream or maybe let's take for example like white yogurt you are going to have that kind of texture very thick and clumpy at times and at times you'll be having some nodules in the middle like kind of crumbs there so that's the kind of vagina discharge you are going to be producing if you are infected with yeast infection and you can equally treat that by using antifungi drugs for the antifungi drugs you have the type that you can swallow you have the type that you can just apply on it and you have the type that you have to insert inside your vagina so make sure you don't take the one for swallowing and inserting it in your vagina and make sure you don't take the one that you are supposed to insert it in your vagina and swallow it so taking that medication it's going to treat this infection and make sure you stay away from sex during the period when you are taking your medication and the very last type of vagina discharge i'll be talking about is the clear vagina discharge this kind of vagina discharge is the normal kind of vagina discharge usually it doesn't have an odor if it wants to have an odor the odor will not be that strong it will not be that offensive it will not be that unpleasant and usually the texture also of this vagina discharge might vary depending on the state in which you are if you're pregnant if you are ovulating if you are taking contraceptive pills if you are during your menopause it's going to change usually during your ovulation period it's the quantity is going to be more it's going to be watery it's going to be damp and stretchy it's going to resemble the texture of raw egg white it's going to be so stretchy and elastic that is how it's going to look and also it's not usually associated with vagina irritation burning sensation swelling all of those things so those are the kind of vagina discharge you can see or the kind of vagina discharge you can equally produce depending on the state in which you are so in case you have any vagina color that you don't really understand and is associated with any kind of irritation or burning sensation you need to go consult your doctor because definitely you might think maybe it's chlamydia is gonorrhea or maybe it's trichomoniasis or maybe it's yeast infection meanwhile it's something else so always consult with your doctor and get the best medication so if you have been watching without subscribing what are you waiting for kindly subscribe and if you have any comment make sure you drop them in the box down and i'm going to answer them and one last thing that i almost forgot if you want to avoid all of this vagina infection what you have to do is that you have to practice good 
hygiene good hygiene is the only way in which you can protect your vagina and also in order to produce good cervical mucus so practice good hygiene put on cutting underwears if you go to the washroom make sure you wipe from front to back not from back to front and make sure you avoid hot water bath and water bath that has strong detergent and uh, lastly you have to make sure you practice safe sex so all of this is going to protect you and free you from vagina infection stay tuned and i love you don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you ciao